State, Nebraska. This game will be played on the turf of Memorial Stadium. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Nebraska lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So the Badgers have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 24-yard line. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. to the back and can't connect. That's exactly how they drew it up in the sideline, and now they get the ball back. He's to the 40, and down he goes at the 44-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 47. Run left side. They'll bring him down at the 48 yard line. Third down. Larry, Larry. Speed up. Mike 36. Mike 36. He throws it. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Throws. He's taken down at the 10-yard line. Boy, this is a really risky call by the defense. When you send both your corners, you leave yourself vulnerable to some passes downfield if those guys don't get to the quarterback in time. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. made around the two-yard line. This is a very important play for both teams. It's third and goal from the two. He'll get it again. He's gobbled up in the backfield. 
Loss of two yards on the play. That brings us to the goal. Nebraska is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Nebraska's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. It's so it's second down and about two yards to go. And he tackles him hard at the 35-yard line. And it looks like he got past the first down marker. Just a misdirection, really. The defense was fooled enough, and the result was a first down for the tailback. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. From their own 47-yard line, first down. He fights forward to around midfield. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. Third and five situation. Ball on the 49-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Brought down at the 48. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. And he has it on the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 18-yard line. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. Nebraska holds a field goal lead. He gets to about the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line, first down. The running back gets two on the carry. They hand it off. And they finally bring him down at the 37-yard line. So it's first and 10 after the big run. He's hit immediately. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver.
Gets it. He's in space. They blitzed the corner that time, and it created a hole in the coverage. But that's the risk you take when you leave a receiver to rush the passer. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Nebraska has a three-point lead. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. Gain of two yards. That brings him second and goal. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Here we go. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled at the one. That makes it third and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he's sacked. Perfect time to call the blitz. He took a bit of a chance, but it paid off by the linebacker being able to get through there, shoot the gap, and get to the quarterback. They're going to go for the easy three here. The kick is up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. Room around the corner. He's taken down at the 26. The Cornhuskers really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And down he goes, around the 36-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 36. And they push him out right around the 36 yard line. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From their own 36 yard line, it's third down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. He's at midfield, quick throw, tackle around the 47 yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47. And he is drilled at the 46 yard line. Here's a running play. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. And here's another third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws a strike over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 37-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. And that'll do it. Very good first quarter of action. 
6-0, Nebraska. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. He launches one for the end zone. Intercepted. It's the junior corner. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 20. Nebraska up six. Fires it out. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. Nice play fake. That is not easy to stop. The quarterback hit his man on an out route, and the defender was in man coverage. As a defender in man coverage, you cannot get beat deep. And as a result, the underneath routes are going to be there. And as you can see, it worked out great for the offense as they were looking for a new set of downs. He fights forward to about the 49. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. Throws left, the running back's got it. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. Caught with room to work. Knocked out of bounds at the 26-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Nebraska with a six-point lead. And he just gets rid of it. That'll bring up fourth down. What do you think they'll do? I don't know what they'll do, but I think they should just kick the field goal. It's early in the game, so I'd take the safe three points. Out of bounds around the 24-yard line. Not much, but it gets him the first down. Yeah, it wasn't much, but on fourth down, it's all about coming up with the first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Throws in the middle, and they make the stop at the 17-yard line. It's the 11th play of the drive. Gets to about the 14-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 14-yard line. Dumps it complete over the middle. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield, and they'll lose a yard there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. That'll bring up second and 11. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Two down, two down. Mike, three, six. Mike, three, six. Two down. Now he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. 
This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. Third and long now after the sack. Nebraska is up by six. He's tackled at the 16-yard line. So they gain a few yards, but they're nowhere near picking up the first down. Well, it was third down and long. They had a long way to go. I think that was more of a safe call. The last thing this offense wants to do is take a shot downfield and cause some kind of turnover. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Setting up the play action. And he's immediately tackled. That's good for a gain of eight yards. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. and it's knocked away. Well, that's one effective way to slow these guys down, getting a hand between the ball and the receiver. <laughs> Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. Gives it up the gut. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. From their own 45-yard line. Second down. He makes it to the 48-yard line. First down. Gets out to around the 22. here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Hands it to the back. He makes it to the nine. On 
the ground, and he won't get back to the line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Here's a screen to the wideout, and he's taken down at the nine-yard line. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. He gets it up, and he's got it. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. Brought down right around the 46-yard line. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. First and 10. Ball on the 46. And he hits him hard at the 49-yard line. Wisconsin will take their first time out of the half. And they get the sack. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. He's hit and taken down. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Well, the defense held them to three on their last possession. Pitching a shutout on this drive would be even better. Quick strike, and he drops it. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 20. He's out to the 30. Great concentration to pull it in. And he's tackled at the 38. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. the 46 yard line first down slings it out there incomplete that makes it second and ten pass pass watch 36 36 to Mike ready 
Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. Nebraska is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? He makes his way to about the 28. We've reached halftime, and I don't think too many people were expecting this. The Cornhuskers lead it by 12. All right, Reese and David. Welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 30. So we're just about ready to return to action. Runs it and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 29 yard line. Second down. There's a strike complete. And down he goes at the 32. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 50-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 50. Gets to about the 47-yard line. complete over the middle. Tackle around the 38-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 38. Makes it out to about the 26. Yard line. It's second and nine. Ball on the 25. Again with the run. Makes it out to about the 13. And this is the ninth play of the current drive.
up the middle for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Taken down in the backfield. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened. There. Tackle made the seven-yard line. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Nebraska's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, he's just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Nice run, and he's brought down. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 29. And they make the stop at the 31. Slings it at the 30. He's tackled right around the 20. That makes it first and ten. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Nice run up the middle. What a play, and that is first and goal. Call the game of 10 yards. First down. They've got four cracks at it inside the five. It's first and goal. They put everyone up on the line. And they'll get him in the backfield. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. And this play is number eight on the drive. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's taken down at the eight-yard line. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up, and it is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20.
And down he goes at the 27. The offense gets set to take the field. Last time out, they stuck it between the uprights for three. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. And they finally knock him out at the 16-yard line. So it's first and ten after the big run. Here's an opening. Good tackle there in space. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. So a short three play, 74 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot. And they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. Nebraska to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Makes it to the 37. First and 10. Ball on their own 37. Zips it to the back. Brought down around the 41 yard line. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. They'll work the left. So the old counter gets two, maybe three yards. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. Here's a handoff, left side. He's gobbled up in the backfield. From the 30-yard line, second down. Makes it out to about the 16. Here's the eighth play of the series. Motion. 
They go right, and he's tackled behind the line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way, the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From the 20-yard line, second down. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. This is the 10th play of this drive. They're just one quarter away. Nebraska's lead is 19. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 77-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Makes it out to about the 33. First and 10. Ball on the 33. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Quick pass, and he's tackled at about the 37-yard line. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. 36, 36 to Mike. Here we go. Run. It's caught. First down, and he's out of bounds. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. It's the tailback. He makes it to the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. again on third down. He fights forward to about the 33. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. From the 22-yard line, first down. They'll 
drop in for a loss. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Hands it off. And they got him for a loss. Call a loss of one yard on the play. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Quick throw, and down he goes at the 46-yard line. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down will keep the defense guessing. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down at the 44. That's a deep First down. Check. Play right. Play right. Play right. Play right. Check down. Play down. He steps out at the 39 yard line. From the 39 yard line, it's second down. carries for a pickup of three. Little handoff. He's taken down around the 35-yard line. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Walker on the run. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? Well, this offense right now is on a drive. I mean, it, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Tackle at the 14-yard line. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 14 yard line. He makes his way out to about the six. A nice job on the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. It's the ninth play of the drive. gets rid of this one so it's third down and they've got about two yards to go tackle made at the three yard line that makes it first and goal it's the 11th play of the drive And 
they make the stop at the one. From the one yard line, second down. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Touchdown, Wisconsin. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two point conversion. Stepping up, they get to the quarterback, and now the ball is loose. A 12-play, 76-yard drive, but they just get six points after failing to convert for two. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 38. Just under three to go in regulation. Out of bounds around the 43-yard line. That makes it 37. Rose left. The running back's got it. And he hits him hard at the 44-yard line. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down at the 49-yard line. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. Wisconsin's going to use their first time out of the half here. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 48. Decent run here, right side. Wisconsin will have one timeout remaining. Gets it out quickly. Brought down at the 32-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated calling these days. Nice run, and he's brought down. From the 27-yard line, second down. Just under two minutes in the game. Room around the corner. He gets out to about the 11-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. They're about four yards away here on second down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had.
Wisconsin staff and really this entire team, I'm sure, is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nessler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.